A man measures the angle of elevation from the ground to a building to be 30 degrees at 250 feet away from the base of the building. How tall is the building? So let's say this is the building and this is the ground and the person measures the angle of elevation from the ground to the top of the building and this angle is 30 degrees now the person's 250 feet away from the building and we want to calculate the height or how tall the building is how can we do that So in this case, we need to use the trigonometric ratios. Perhaps you remember the expression Sokotoa. We need to use this part of that expression. So tangent of the angle of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Opposite to 30 is h, and the adjacent side is 250. If we cross multiply, we get that h is equal to 250 times tan 30. And that is 144.3 feet. So that's how tall the building is. Now, for those of you who want a generic formula for situations like this, if you want to calculate the height of the building and you know the angle theta and the distance from which the angle is measured from the ground to the top of the building, the height of the building is simply the distance times tangent theta. That's all you got to do to find this answer. Now let's work on another problem. Karen measures the angle of elevation from the ground to a building to be 30 degrees. Next, she walks 150 feet toward the building and measures the new angle of elevation to be 40 degrees. What is the height of the building? All right, so let's draw the building. Here it is. And initially, Karen, she measures the angle of elevation from this point. So that is at an angle of 30 degrees. So here she is right here. Then she's going to walk 150 feet toward the building, at which point she measures the new angle of elevation, which is 40 degrees. What is the height of the building? Now, there's different ways in which we can get the answer. First, I'm going to show you the process to get the answer, and then I'm going to show you a formula that you can use to get the answer directly. So first, let's go over the process. Let's call this distance x1. And let's call the total distance x2. So what this means is that x2 is the sum of x1 plus 150. Now, let's focus on the small triangle, just this part. Tangent 40 is equal to the opposite side, h, divided by the adjacent side, x1. That's the first formula that we can write. The second formula if we focus on the larger triangle, it's tan 30 is equal to the opposite side h divided by all of this, which is the same as x2. So we have tan 30 is equal to the, not the hypotenuse, but the opposite side over the adjacent side, which is x2. Now, if we cross multiply, here we'll get h is equal to x1 tan 40. And if we put this over 1 and cross multiply, we'll get that h 
is equal to x2 tan 30. So because both of these expressions are equal to h, that means they are equal to each other. So x1 tan 40 is equal to x2 tan 30. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by tan 30. So let's get the decimal equivalent of tan 40 over tan 30. Tan 40 divided by tan 30, that's 1.45336. And then that's times x1. Now, x2, we can replace that with x1 plus 150. Now, these two, they're common terms. But it might be better for me to rewrite this. So this is 1.45336x1, and that's equal to x1 plus 150. Let's put a 1 here. I'm going to subtract both sides by 1x1. So 1.4536 minus 1, that's going to be 0.45336x1, and that's equal to 150. So to get x1, we need to divide 150 by this number. So 150 divided by 0.45336. That is 330.86. So now that we know the value of x1, we can calculate the height using this formula. So it's going to be x1, which is 330.86 times tangent of 40. So you should get 277.6 feet. So that is the height of the building. Now, of course, you can also use this formula to get the answer, but you need to get x2. So x2 is 150 more than x1. So x2 is 330 plus 150, that's 480.86, and then times tangent of 30. and you'll get the same answer, 277.6. Now, I'm going to give you a formula that's going to give you the same answer. So let's say you have the same situation. You want to find the height of this triangle, or the height of the building, and you know two angles. Let's call this angle alpha, and we'll call this angle beta, and you know the distance between the two angles, we'll call that D. And your goal is to calculate H. The formula that you need is this. H is equal to D tangent alpha tangent beta divided by tan beta minus tangent alpha. When using the formula, if you're going to type this in your calculator, put this in parentheses. So you, you'll get the right answer. Alright, so let's go ahead and plug this in. D, we can see D is 150. Alpha is going to be the smaller of the two angles. So alpha is 30, beta is 40. So this is going to be tangent 40 minus tangent 30. If you type in tan 30 minus tan 40, you'll get a negative number. So for the bottom part, the bigger angle goes first. And that'll give you a positive answer. So it's 150 times tan 30 times tan 40, all divided by, in parentheses, tan 40 minus tan 30. If you type it incorrectly, you're going to get 277.6 feet. So that's the formula you could use to get the answer all in one step. 
All you need is the two angles and the distance between the two angles, and you can calculate the height of any building. Now, for those of you who want more problems like this and other problems associated with trigonometry, feel free to check out the links in the description section below. I'm going to put more content there. Now, for those of you who need help with your homework or if you need help with a specific question, feel free to post that question in the comment section below. Sometimes another viewer may be able to help you with the particular question that you have. Therefore, feel free to do that, of course, if you want to.